even if there's light out in ghana i prefer to stay in ghana compared to my own small town that always have light right yes peace of mind is my number one priority nigeria can never compare themselves to ghana when it comes to electricity never 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 ghana are really trying when it comes to that so you have to pick up you know learn from your brother ghana yes learn from your brother ghana when it comes to electricity that's what i'll have that's the advice i have to tell nigeria right now my second reason of you know being in ghana is electricity right i want to have constant light so when i'm not getting if i'm not getting constant light here in accra ghana what do i have to do the insecurity something will make me to stay in accra and manage the light because peace of mind covers it all you can't stay in a place like comfortably without peace of mind so that's why i'm here guys <laughs> so that's why i'm here that's my number one reason why i'm in ghana yes number one reason is peace ghana is peaceful it's very very peaceful and i'm okay i'm okay like at least i have peace of mind electricity comes second that small town i told you i'm from kafanchan right my own part of kafanchan we always have lights we always have light when they take the light after 30 or one hour they bring the light back so we don't really experience light off in my own part of kafanchan you know and that small town is in nigeria kaduna state who say there's always light in ghana and who say there's no light in nigeria hi guys my name is delphina and i'm a nigerian living in ghana so i am here to share my little experience about the ghanaian and the nigerian electricity okay so you sit back and listen very careful i've been in ghana for more than should i say yeah i've lived in ghana like my mind day for um in ghana for like six months now yes and i've lived all my life in nigeria and i'm here to share my experience with you when it comes to electricity in both countries so i'm from northern part of nigeria kaduna state precisely kafanchan yeah from a small town called kafanchan i know a lot of people are thinking kafanchan is from you know it's a town or a place in china no it's not kafanchan is a small town in kaduna state okay um just take a look at this so you see the way our fingers are not equal right that's how this life is that small town i told you i'm from kafanchan right my own part of Kavancha, we always have light. We always have light. When they take the light, after 30 or 1 hour, they bring the light back. So we don't really experience light off in my own part of Kavancha, you know. And that small town is in Nigeria, Kaduna State. So I believe likewise to Ghana. That is what is happening. Because I see a lot of people posting videos um saying that there's never light off in ghana so guys let's take a look at this video let's watch it together and share our thoughts my place in abushu it is at four and for to the combo but inside the four and so lights today 24 hour so if i go back to nigeria data states worry who do market who was See, brother, see, no light. Not too tired to tell you, no light for that side. But see, inside bourgeois, they stay for Ghana. I never want to sleep without no light. So, listen, Nigeria, we could not put more effort. Even though Ghana is small, Ghana is not small. We need light for Nigeria. I am living in Ghana right now, and I'm telling you today that there are some parts of Ghana, especially the part I'm from, sometimes they take light for like, three hours four hours sometimes five hours three days in a row they will take the light the same time and this place i'm telling you about is also in accra ghana you understand what i'm saying so that is why i told you guys earlier that all fingers are not equal and it's possible that there are some parts of ghana there are some you know town in accra ghana that always have light that they don't blink light that's how it is so when people are sharing their experience don't just come out and say it's not true it's not true it's never true yes i have a video i'm going to allow you guys to watch so you understand what i'm saying it happened in accra ghana yes i went to the salon with my friend and boom they took the light they just took the light but thank god the salon have um generator 
so they earn their generator don't worry girl just just give you small time so you watch the video before we continue watch hey, I came to the salon with my friend. The lights went off. Yes, there was lights off. They had to on their generator. This is for those of you that said you guys don't use generator in Ghana. This is a proof for you to see that this is a saloon. They just on their gym because uh, there's light out. What can you say about this? You know, I love um, talking with proof. I don't just like talking without proof. I love talking with proof. And I believe when I go back to Kafanchan, yeah, my small Kafanchan, I'm going to also make a video for you to see how true it is that we always have light in that part of Nigeria. You know, so I really appreciate this guy for coming out to, like for mentioning the name of the places that always have light. But let's um, bring everything together. If we are to talk about it generally, like, Nigeria can never compare themselves to Ghana when it comes to electricity. Never, never, never. Ghana are really trying when it comes to that. So you have to pick up, you know, learn from your brother Ghana. Yes, learn from your brother Ghana when it comes to electricity. That's what I have. That's the advice I have to tell Nigeria right now. And if you ask me, the number second reason why I left Nigeria to Ghana is because of electricity. Whenever I want to do my things, let me, you know, let me have the light. I know most of you will be like, I be I always have lights in my own part of the state, but um, in my own small town, I mean, but why am I saying that my number second reason why I'm in Ghana is because of the electricity, you know, when you want to stay far from your family and again, the insecurity. Yeah. So I've given you the reason why I am in Ghana, right? So that's why I said my second reason of, you know, being in Ghana is electricity right i want to have constant light so when i'm not getting if i'm not getting constant light here in accra ghana what do i have to do the insecurity something will make me to stay in accra and manage the light because peace of mind covers it all you can't stay in a place like comfortably without peace of mind so that's why i'm here guys <laughs> so that's why i'm here that's my number one reason why i'm in ghana yes number one reason is Peace, Ghana is peaceful. It's very, very peaceful, and I'm okay. I'm okay. Like at least I have peace of mind. Electricity comes second. So even if there's light out in Ghana, I prefer to stay in Ghana compared to my own small town that always have light. Right? Yes. Peace of mind is my number one priority. So guys, this brings me to the end of my video. If you are watching from Facebook or TikTok please follow like and share this video and if you're watching from youtube please do well to subscribe to the channel like this video share this video to as many eyes out there i believe they will also watch and learn one or two things on this clip guys press the notification bell to get notified whenever i drop another video see ya bye